Featuring up to 144Hz of pure gaming power, the Samsung QN90B Neo QLED Mini LED TV at 43 inches brings 100% of the DCI-P3 color coverage with amazing cloud features that will let you stream from a wide variety of gaming apps, no console needed. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung QN90B 43-inch Mini LED TV featuring cloud gaming in this specific video. All games and applications will be from the Xbox X Cloud app and we'll be taking a look at the PC side of things to see how clear it looks on this beautiful TV. Finally, 120-144Hz on the Neo QLED lineup, all coming up on Victor's Reality. Starting off here with the Game Hub app, you can see the Xbox, Luna, Stadia, Utamic, NVIDIA GeForce. There are many apps that you can do cloud gaming. Specifically, we're going to be checking out the Xbox side of things, as you can easily pair an Xbox, PlayStation, or Stadia controller, among other controllers. So let's take a look here. You can actually use your own controller. Here it says the Xbox Elite Wireless Series 2, the Sony DualShock 4, DualSense, among other controllers. To navigate, you can either use the controller that comes with the TV or a paired controller. Here you're showcasing a little bit of what the apps do. You can control in the menu, which I'll show you in a bit, the latency or AI upscaling and some sound features. Friends, I am a believer now. We're at a time where the cloud gaming is almost as good as your home console. I will show you a couple of games. Of course, some games do better than others, right? But we'll get to that in a little bit. Here with the media, you can see this is when you turn on the TV, you can get to your Netflix, your Hulu, or the Game Hub. All those features is super simple and easy to navigate. But if you go up to the Game Hub, we just saw that, and then you can go all the way up to the ambience mode. Now look at here, Samsung has NFT tokens. Love it or hate it, one thing I will say is this ambience mode is beautiful. It's really clear. It's one of the best high def pictures I've ever seen on a TV. Again, if you're into that NFT stuff, I just wanted to showcase, it does look pretty cool. And they have a wider range of different NFTs that you can buy to showcase the ambience on the TV. But besides that, the special editions, the ones that come built in with the TV, they have so many options that you can pick from. It's basically a nice ambience screensaver. To me, it's a nice touch and you can customize it to the way you like it. Now with every app, they will have this intro you can see right here with the beta of xCloud. Seriously, this is my first time really playing on the Xbox xCloud app. Now I have tried this on my Galaxy S22 Ultra and my tablets. I did not like how it felt. I felt it was too laggy. The input lag was just not enough for me to actually switch from an actual console to the online cloud feature. But I am totally surprised, be it the update, be it Microsoft doing its magic, but it is almost instant now. It's very good. Of course, each game varies, right? Halo is really good. Mortal Kombat, Psychonauts 2, those feel almost instant. Forza, on the other hand, because you're racing so fast, it looks like the bit rate or the resolution is very low, 720p, maybe even sometimes lower than that. Or the bit rate is very low on Forza. But then if you move on to Doom, which you will see in my video coming up when I have Mortal Kombat and Doom gameplay. But in Doom, the input lag is the worst from all the games I've tested. Because with first person shooters, you gotta be pinpoint, you gotta be super fast. And xCloud and these cloud apps do have its limits. If it's a Twitch shooter, like Doom, it still has a ways to go, but everything else I've tried so far is perfect. But especially Halo and Mortal Kombat, I can see myself playing on the xCloud app when I want to pick up a game. It's just that fast. You can actually have Spotify running in the background, but with the search, pair the controller and the sound output, you can actually change the picture setting and your game performance from low latency or AI upscaling. And just from reading those two, low latency would give you the fastest input possible with the least amount of picture processing and while AI upscaling is the opposite. It might give you a little bit more input lag, but it will give you the best picture possible. Again, according to the xCloud or streaming apps, because with those apps, input lag is already more pronounced than home hardware consoles that you have hooked up to your TV. But friends, look what you're seeing here. This is Mortal Kombat through the xCloud app. It is that clear, it is that nice, it is that responsive. I am actually having so much fun recording this. I was playing it and I'm like, okay, let's just test this out. I was already expecting it to be slow. It is not slow, I can actually play this. 
Now what we're seeing here seems to be 1080p. It's not 4K, but it's not 720p either. To me, it looks 1080p. Again, it depends on the game, but everything is here with this mini LED TV. The image pop, the color saturation. From what I'm seeing, friends, I don't see no smear. It is that fast. But when we get to the PC section, I'll explain to you what we're gonna be doing for those tests. But you can see here, friends, this is not Xbox hardware. You can see there are no wires from the left or right hooked up to the TV. This is on the Xbox Cloud app. Now, mind you, I do have, with one gig down, that all depends on your router. I do use the Xfinity router, the XB6, which I wanna get my hands on the XB7, but your miles will vary. The faster the router you can get, the better connection, the less lag you will notice especially with these cloud apps that again are getting better as we speak but they still have a little bit ways to go because I do want to see 4k x cloud gaming but keeping the input lag the way it is or improving on it of course depending on the game like I said it can only get better from here and if this is the first Samsung lineup TVs that are getting it I can't wait to see what next year introduces but this TV is so new you can even see I forgot to take off the sticker on the top right of the TV Okay friends, unfortunately I sold my 3080 Ti in preparation for the 480 or 490 series, actually last month. So unfortunately, again, I can't test out the 144 hertz mode on this awesome TV. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but what I did want to do at least was to showcase 1440p or 1080p at 120 hertz. Now, for whatever reason, I can't get the 1440p to show up, so we're going to have to stick to 1080p at 120 hertz. The reason being is 4K60 will look beautiful. That's for sure, you're gonna see that. I do have that running with another game in a bit. I just wanna show the 120 hertz to see if there's any smear of this TV. Now, I specifically play these two games on all my monitors and TVs. This is how I test it. If you wanna see other games, you can leave a comment down below. We will get to much more testing later. But for this specific video, I do have 80s Overdrive and a little bit of Civilization V. Again, I always test this game. I've tested it with the C2 and with this 43QN90B. Look how clear it looks at 1080p, 120 hertz. It is super smooth, it is clear. I do not see any smear with the trees running. Again, I do real world tests of things and games that I play so I would easily notice. This is brighter than the C2, which I'm happy about because you all know I love brightness power and it's just as clear. Of course, the C2 has that beautiful glossy screen compared to this one, which this is semi-gloss I would say. The C2 is true gloss and that is beautiful to see. But we will get to that versus video very soon. But you can see the trees were super clear, crystal clear I would say at 120 hertz. 144 hertz would only improve that. So if you have a 3000 or 4000 series GPU, and video, of course, or AMD equivalent, you will be able to experience that fluidity, that clarity of this TV. Here with Civilization 5, it looks beautiful at that size. Again, I can only show 120 hertz. Now here with Bright Memory Infinite on the PC, this is running at 4K 60 hertz. Now remember my GPU is not that powerful, so you are gonna see slowdown, you are gonna see it a little bit choppy, but I'm not showcasing the fluidity of that specific game. I wanna show you the power of this TV with the clarity and the contrast that the TV can provide. We gotta be playing more space games here on the channel, but look at this, this is beautiful. Remember, this is out on Xbox Series X. It will look just as good. I wanna get that just to play it on here. I do have this at max settings, so my 2080 can only do so much, right? But look how beautiful the TV can display it. The contrast is amazing on this TV. Now I will say it is not as good as the bigger 55 inch QN90B or even the QN90A. Those TVs are much more powerful, much more vibrant, much more in your face. This 43 inch is toned down a bit. I mean, it's still beautiful and powerful. It's just not as, I would say, impactful as the bigger sizes. But for PC gaming, this is totally doable. No dimming compared to the C2 and a full white screen window even just messing around with the NVIDIA control panels with the display resolution and hertz. The C2 dims while this QN90B43 does not. So rest assured when you're playing games, this will not lower in brightness or dim 
like the C2 or other TVs would. But this TV is so clear. 43 inches is awesome, and this will give the Aorus FE43U a run for its money, at least from a local dimming SDR standpoint. But if we don't look at the local dimming power, and we just stick to full screen gaming, it's gonna be very close because I can tell you for a fact already, the FE43U looks a tad brighter in a full screen gaming window. But again, friends, we gotta get to a versus video so I can show you. I'm just trying to remember what I've seen on the FE43U as I switch out and have been testing all these TVs and monitors. And I know probably you guys wanna see the Neo G8 versus this QN90B43, which we will get to very soon, friends. So don't worry about that. I know you wanna see that. Both have mini LEDs. While this one has 300 plus, the Neo G8 has 1196 local dimming zones, so that is a drastic difference. And we will get to that in a future video. So friends, this was my first impressions of the xCloud gaming on the TV. It is a beautiful TV, you cannot go wrong. Football season is coming up, and this will play all your sports and games better than ever, especially better than last year's 60Hz version. But besides the xCloud gaming features, this TV is beautiful. It is very bright. It has so much contrast. If I don't have an Xbox hooked up, I will be playing on the xCloud now on this TV. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like as it helps the channel tremendously so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. And consider subscribing if you want to see more of the Samsung Neo QLED 43-inch line of TV slash monitor videos. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.